Module 16 T distribution and tests of significance based on T distribution Section 1 T distribution You might have heard about T distribution earlier the student's T test so we use the T distribution and we also learned about T constant while we computed confidence interval of the mean we picked up a constant from the T distribution table that time if you remember it so what is t distribution it is nothing but one type of a continuous probability distribution so this one is that in this distribution we know exact probabilities of every t scores known so what is this t score so i will explain that later this enables us to calculate the p values that is the probabilistic values if we know the t score so if you calculate a t score you can reverse look up in this table to find the P value of that particular T score. So T ratios plotted in probability, probability histogram is known as T distribution histogram which is identical to the Gaussian histogram which we are going to explain in a later module which is a characteristically a bell shaped histogram. So the T or the T ratio is defined as the difference between uh, sample mean and population mean divided by uh, you know sample error of the mean you know standard error of the mean so basically it is m minus mu where m is sample mean minus mu is population mean divided by standard error of the mean so standard error of the mean or SEM we already know how to calculate it is nothing but standard deviation divided by root n so that formula is called the t and you plot this t in a simulated data set where you know exactly uh, you know the elements of the population then you calculate the T and then if you plot it It's gonna be the T distribution table So as you can see in this diagram the T distribution has a typical bell shaped histogram and uh, This bell shaped is a normal probability histogram. So this T is nothing but uh, Population, you know the, the the sample mean minus population mean divided by standard error of the mean So most of the time sample mean and population means are almost same so the difference that is the denom the numerator is going to be zero so most of the time the t will be zero so in half of the cases sample mean is going to be higher than the population mean while the other half of the cases sample mean is going to be lesser than uh, the population mean so if the sample mean that is m is larger than the population mean the value of the t is going to be positive the other other side it is uh, you know the vice versa it is going to be the negative so that is why this mean that at zero is the peak or the mode you know of this histogram is at zero and it is being pulled apart from both sides equally so many uh, you know variants are pulling this kind of things equally in two ways so that is the reason that you are getting a typical bell shaped histogram so the, the shape of t distribution depends only on the degree of the freedom you know or df uh, that is what in this diagram you can see that as a mu it is written so that mu is also degree of freedom with small degree of freedom the distribution is fat tail or platycutic while with large uh, values of the degree of freedom it becomes more peaked you know so uh, you might remember the terms which we introduced earlier leptocutic mesocutic and platycutic so this kurtosis depends upon the degree of freedom in the student's t distribution so the history is that the t distribution was developed by w s gossett so he was an english uh, statistician and he was working at the guinness brewery in dublin in ireland so it is a beer making firm uh, guinness so while doing the quality test he devised this very uh, in, uh, interesting uh, you know the, the test to compare the means to find which kind of beer is better than the other one uh, but he don't want to reveal the trade secret of his company so he published that in the pseudonym of the student so that is why the name of the distribution came from the students t distribution so the test of significance based on t distribution there are of course a, more, a lot of tests but of which we already know how to calculate the confidence interval of the mean we learned it in module number 11 and we can also do this for the differences of means between the two group means that we are going to do that in uh, next session of this, this module and we can also perform students t test that we will learn in the next session again 
we can also use the same t distribution for linear reg linear regression analysis as well as in bayesian analysis so there are a lot of applications of this probability uh, distribution so in summary t distribution is a continuous probability distribution used for a number of statistical significance tests including students t test linear regression and bayesian analysis the shape of the t-distribution depends only on the degree of freedom or df. Thank you for watching.